Welcome back viewers for another episode of Aliens vs Relatives. We're here today for Operation Brutal Priest. This is a small crash site in Australia. And this is something like what? Our sixth crash site? Well, not quite in a row, but almost. Like we had an interlude of a base of two missions, but beyond that, we've just had so many crash sites. But regardless, let's get down there and see what aliens have provided us. Okay, we're here, and, hmm, interesting spawn point. Uh, so, the plan I think here, straight up, is not go for the UFO. Instead, let's go towards the ride, try to find out where the aliens are, and kill the aliens, and then we can come back to the UFO. I'm not sure where the mount is. Once we get some signs of where the mount is, we might change course, but before then, let's just try to play it safe and move away from the UFO. So, with that in mind, let's introduce a squad. We can get started. Okay. Chronomus, the gunner, welcome. We have Arm Dubra, the sniper. We have Manto, the engineer, who... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you are a mass sergeant, or you're about to be. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, Changing runner, the rocketeer. Uh, Swarfest Sam, the scout. Annette, the medic. Kid, the Valkyrie. Yamachomp, the assault. And that's it. So, first step. Let's use motor tracker. Okay, so far so clear. Let's move to the right. Still clear. How many scans do we have? A crazy amount. So, let's just move you to the right as well. And we can track some scans out. Uh, so, Manto, why don't we just throw a scan, let's say, over here to a parking lot. Okay, parking lot looks sort of clear. Okay, cool. Why don't you check a scan all the way down this way? All the way. Battle scanners up. This eerie silence is disrupted by a mechtoid and two sectoid commanders. Oh man. Why so many sector commanders these days? I don't like sector commanders. They're not very friendly. Oh, and an outsider. Fun! That's a fun pod. Let's move... We can't really engage them this turn, so let's simply move into position. So we can engage them maybe... Turn after? So yep, let's move everyone towards the right here. Need to make sure the rocket's in good position. Is that two mechtoids or one mechtoid? One mechtoid and two commanders. They all have to die. They all have to die. Nope. No, I am not. Get over it. And... This pod isn't actually that big. It's not small. It's got one, two, three, four. There could be another pod out there. Better watch out. So let's move Chronomus up here, and I'm Dubra. Let's move you here, and steady your sniper shot. Okay, cool. No infantry. Could be problematic. Our firepower is rather limited. They are moving away. Okay. We'll follow them. I'm not hearing any other sounds. As mailed towards a UFO. Well, if it's inside a UFO, that's probably not going to happen. So, first step, let's move the scout. Where are you, scout? Sam? Let's move you up to here. Aye, aye, Commander. And let's check a scan down this way. Find out what's over there. Okay, just mount there. Okay, so we better hurry this up. If we want to mount, we have to hurry this up. Okay, so let's keep moving up. Let's move you up to here. Okay, Rocketeer can go down to over here. Gotta be careful. I'm getting awfully close to the UFO. I really should try to scan it into the UFO itself. In fact, let's do it now. Mantle, let's move you here. Intel is your most powerful weapon in your arsenal. If you know where all the aliens are, you are much better off than if you don't know where they are. Well, duh. <laughs> I probably don't have to say that. That one was probably a little obvious. 
Okay, well, the Outsiders are once again, looks like they're at the back of the UFO maybe? Let's have a closer look. Where are they? Yep, they're very far back in the UFO. Cool, so we get a lot of leeway of where to move against this pod. That's helpful. Uh, so, let's keep moving people up. And that can possibly side panic one of the Demectoid upon activation. That could be very handy. Soon, soon. Jeez. You speak as if I never let you shoot aliens. It's not my fault you always miss. Okay, Yamachop. Let's move you up to here. And who's left? Dubra. Dubra? Let's move you up as well. To here. Okay, steady. Okay, Overwatch. Steady a rocket. Cool. Now hopefully they'll come towards us. Eh, yeah, sort of. Not really. Who can we see? Unfortunately, you can't quite see who I wanted to say, but what I can do though is I can shred them right now. Shred them right now. The problem is he has cover. Okay, maybe we don't shred them right now. Maybe we can... Looks like they go towards UFO. Is there any way I can try to intercept them? Tricky. There's not enough cover to intercept them from. So that could be difficult. I can't really kill a mech toy upon activation like this. So it's tricky. Very tricky. Okay. Maybe the first best step here is use Sam to track us. Oh yeah, no, no more scans. I was about to say use you to track a scan. Well, in that case, I think I can sneak up on you from this, using this direction. If not, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yep, I can. Excellent. In that case, let's also sneak the round up. I think I went this way, didn't I? So this should be safe. And if that's safe, good. Let's sneak Manto up as well. So let's move Manto oh, here. Nice. Cool. Why am I doing this? So oh, my grenades are slightly closer. And let's check a scan down there just so we can get good eyes on them. Scanners up and running. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Next, let's move Acronymous up to here, maybe. Let's move Acronymous up to here. Be safe. Cool. Okay, you are... Hmm, that's pretty poor firing. That's actually a pretty poor shot. We can't see much here from here. But hopefully, when they move further along, I'll be able to see better. So, there. What next? Durant can stay there just to be safe. You can move up to here, maybe. Not too sure. Steady. And you can move over slightly. Cool. Okay. We are sort of ready. Okay. Okay. That's gonna eat a rocket right now. Ooh. Or... How is my cam looking? I can move up here. They'll activate and then chuck a cam on them all. That could be fun. Screw the rocket activation. Let's do this. Yes, I know. I know. Are they flanking you by any chance? Yes, of course they would. Yes, of course they will flank you. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they flank you? Where's my assault? Yamachomp. You can't make it. But I can flank you return. Is the outside flanking me? No, and I can blow up an outside's cover. It's just a sector, sector commander who's uh, being a problem right now. Still, let's... I say let's disable the Mectoid and ignore the rest. I mean, ignore him, not ignore the rest. Kill the rest. Yes, I meant kill the rest. Okay, so, what next? How's my rocket looking? Yeah, I can blow up your cover, and then I can use Manto to blow up the other guy's cover. So Manto, you can move up to here. Copy that, sir. And you can blow up the bad guy's cover. Let's start with that. Start by blowing up your cover. Good. Okay, next, let's fire a rocket at the front guy. Like so. Okay, cool. Decent chunk of damage. Kid, what can you see? Kid can't see anything. 
uh, disappointing. Let's move Kid up. What can you see from here? A lot. So, I say let's kill the outsider. No way he did. Kid just did fail to kill the outsider. No way that just happened. That's impossible. But at least he hit. At least he hit. Let's move you up. Okay. You can see... Okay, can you please kill him off? Come on, Sam. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, I should not believe in you. Okay, well, in the Yamatrop, let's move you up to here. Let's shoot you in the face. Go. And let's shoot him in the face. Or you can miss. Problematic. What can you see? Just him. Well, I would very much like the outsider to die, so what if I command Kid? Who can. Good. Okay, next, Durand. Let's hide you. <laughs> yes, good, Durand. Okay, you are. Uh, okay, what is wrong with you? No, seriously, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? Where are you going? Come back. Okay, I think they're trying to bait me now. Reload. Cool. You do that. I know where the other outsiders are, so you can't. So you can't catch me off guard like that. Let's use the run. Move up. When do I get to shoot an alien? Soon, soon, soon. Cam. I'm suspecting some more parts of this map out of this part. So, Cam. Cool. Let's follow up with Shred. Like... Is that even at range? S uh, sort of. Let's see what we can do, Changeling. Try your best. That's what's important. Try your best. Okay, your best is clearly not very good. Right, that could happen. Well... What can you do? You can shoot him. Cool. Shoot him, please. Good. As a start. Unfortunately, no shred. Because you don't have shredder. Not yet. Still, shoot again. That's good damage, I guess. Okay. How do we finish you off? You. What can you see? Just him. I don't think I can lean out here. I can probably move here, though, and shoot. But I kind of want to be able to suppress the sector commander keep him still. Otherwise, he's going to keep running. So, let's move you up instead. We can grab him out next turn. Move you up to here. We know where the outsiders are. Okay, so let's shoot you in the face with a shotgun. It's effective. Cool. Let's shoot you in the face with a shotgun again. No, I just realized. I made a mistake. That command's going to run now. Whoops. Someone's trying to capture him. Well, we can try to capture him, I suppose, by doing this. Okay, and Sam, you may as well take a shot at him from here. He's already flanked anyway. Besides, if we can reduce his health down low enough, maybe he will be... He won't run. Maybe. Probably not going to happen, though. Oh, well. That's fine. I can level 1 as capture. Manto, let's move you down to here. And I think that's it. Cool, we can grab him out next turn. You're probably gonna run. Yep. And. Economist, that's we call a miss. Okay, he is dazed and confused. He's running over there. Okay, let's grab his mount. Okay, how close are the outsiders? Still a bit off, so I can still pursue you. Though not through the acid. Problem is, I need to reduce your health somehow. What's my side panic chance? 0% apparently. Why does it have to be 0%? Okay, how do I reduce your health? How do I reduce your health? Good questions. So very good question. Just everything here will probably kill him. 
I guess Soul Fan Sam, Fan Sam's shot is probably least likely to kill him. Yeah, let's do it. Probably gonna miss anyway. Yep, I missed. Okay, I guess. I guess we can try going for. No, you can be out of range. You'll be out of range too. Okay, this is. Okay, Durant's shot is probably least likely to kill him. Let's go for that. Don't kill Duran. <coughs> I'm so sorry. My voice cracked there for a second. Yes, I know. I saw you miss. Okay, well, I guess we can suppress him. We can just okay. keep him still. I guess. Let's keep suppressing him. He should still uh, sit still now. And kid, you did alright so far. You're doing good. Reload you. Okay, and change lane. Stash you up to here. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot with you. Your gun's too big. Although I can shoot with a pistol, maybe. Watch this. Watch as this does one damage. Or oh, just misses. Okay, well. You need to move up. And you need to reload. Okay, you should just sit still. Oh, you hunkered. Well, aren't you annoying? How do I reduce your health now? Let's try to see our stun chances. 29. How am I supposed to reduce your health now? Seriously. 1%. Go for it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Clearly, 1% doesn't work. Clearly. Well, I don't think he's shredded, is he? How much flamethrowers do? 6 damage. He has 7 health and he's not shredded. Could work. Let's do try it. Worth a go. Worth a try. So, you tell me just won't kill him. So let's see whether you lie to me or not. Good! Exactly 6 damage. Perfect. Perfect. Now, that's much better stun chances. Good job. I know. That's awesome. We've been, we've been getting so many sector commanders recently. Moving to position. Okay, reload you. Uh, let's move you up. And question. What else, kind of outsides are we facing here? I haven't seen them. Where's Manto? Oh, Manto's... Yeah, that's right. Manto has already uh, act, used his turn up. Oh, well. We'll check your scan next turn or something. They are over the back left corner, wasn't it? Can we, can we have a look at all? Your baby, I can't see your friend. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, I'll try to scan next turn. Uh, let's move you here. Steal a rocket. And, cool. And let's move you up. Okay. Yep, I know. It's mailed. Let's check the scan so we can have a better look of, wh of what outsides we're facing. See if they're babies or not. Yeah, it's beyond the line, so we'll better hurry this up. Eagle eye on the move. What? No, one of these again. Uh, okay, I actually tried to do a roof, apparently. Lovely. Well, from this, it looks like there's two baby outsiders, so it's not too scary. So I said, this is line up on the wall and go from there. Let's move you here. Move you here. Yes, Annette, you do owe me that much. Yes, Annette. Where's my rocket here? Let's move you here. Cool. I think we are ready. I can probably even dash you up to here. Cool. Okay, we are definitely ready. And you can simply move up to here. You can move in afterwards. Cool. And slow fest. How much XP do you need anyway? Ooh, that's, that's a lot of kills you need. Not gonna happen again. Oh well, next mission. Cool. Let's activate them. With. Let's activate them with Manto. Yep. Hello. How you guys doing? 
Okay, and ideally we want to get a capture going because we do have three more captures. Can you please disable somebody? Uh, okay, well, let's see about rocket first. Then. Let's rocket you because I don't like you. And then we'll do, we'll, do, we'll do something about the other guy. Cool. He has no cover. Just the way I like it. And let's disable you. We'll work on you later. And then we'll try to capture the other guy. Okay. Yeah, how do we capture this guy? Good question. Very good question. Well, I can definitely take one hit to the face. So kid, move up. He's not shred this time, so surely this won't kill. Oh wow, he missed. Kid, your reputation is going down the drain right now. Okay, well... I suppose, let's just do this. And I suppose, let's move you up. We can probably shoot you once in the face with a shotgun. It probably won't kill. Am I looking at that right? Did it say 3 damage with an alloy cannon? Okay, I guess I'm not hallucinating. Things like that can happen. It can happen. Oh boy. Okay, Duran, let's move you here. And let's just smoke the gunner up because he's liable to get shot right now. Cool. Oh, Manto. Go by you. Cool. Oh, you are gonna shoot my gunner, who's in smoke, high cover, and you almost hit, but not quite. How about you? You are ditching. You're just running. Lovely. Well, we gotta make sure this guy stays. Oh my god, he got my meld. Okay, that's annoying. Was that worth it, the meld? Probably not, I guess. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Let's move you here. Oh, we can see his friend. Where's his friend? Is he reloaded? Nope, he's still disabled. That's good. Don't kill him, please. Good. Good. Now, let's see about getting captures. So. 34%, please come home. That's what we call a fail. <laughs> oh wow, I've never heard that before. That is awesome. Well, Manto, let's hope you did because you're about to try again. There we go. Good job. And yes, recharging those things are important. Okay, let's just move everyone else up. This guy's still disabled, he's not gonna do anything to us. <laughs> that quote was great. That quote was great. Um, what to do with you? Let's move you here. And Durand. Let's just dash you up as well. Uh, seriously. You've been in the force for what? Five months now at least? Okay, we got one last charge left. Can we possibly get a disabled on him? Not this turn. Okay, is it disable backup? Nope. Can we suppress him? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. That's unfortunate. We can flashbang him though. It won't be the same as suppressing, but we can flashbang him. Whoa, this guy's supposed to be stunned. Why is he looking at me like that? Why is he putting a gun at you like that? What is going on here? Guys, you stunned him, right Manto? You did recharge that, that thing, surely. Okay, um, okay, that aside, I don't really trust one of these things, even Flashbang, to be perfectly honest. I only trusted if he was both Flashbang and Suppressed. Unfortunately, I can't really do that, can I? Nope, I can't. Stink. Why can't you make it? Because it's simply too far, that's why. Okay, well, I guess what I can do here, smoke yourself up and chuck a Flashbang at him. And then we'll overwatch him with somebody. What perks does he have anyway? Yeah, he's a baby. So, let's flashbang. 
And we give him a nice big juicy target called Mech. Kid, I hope you don't mind. It's your job. So, kid. Let's give him a nice big juicy target. This is not flanking him. And let's give Manto up right up there. Okay, cool. And kid. Just reload. Cool. And you can stay there. And someone needs to keep him still. Someone, somebody with some health. Like you, maybe. Oh, wait, that's flanking him. Bad idea. Come back. Yamachomp, how about you keep him still? Okay, and you can dash up. Somewhere. Uh, no, feel free to dash up. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, screw it. Just stay there. And you can hunker. And there. He is running? Okay, what? Well, good shot, but why is he running? Okay, he is lost. Okay. He's lost. I think that's the conclusion here. He is lost. He's lost it. Lost his marbles. Let's disable you. Can we hollow him first, please? Where's my hollow? Hollow? Sam. Moving out. Sam, take your pistol out and shoot him in the face. No, that's not a pistol. That's not a pistol. Oh, wow. These guys have so much DR now. Anyway, disable. Good. So much DR. Okay, well, where is Manto? You're still not in range because he ran off like a chicken. So let's stash Manto over here to his face. Let's stash Kid to his face. Let's stash Durand to his face. Let's stash everybody to his face. Just crowd around him. Make him feel homey. Uh, you can dash to his face too if you want. Yeah, he can't out CCS anyway. Cool. <laughs> oh, I almost feel sorry for the outsider. Oh man. Wow, I almost feel sorry for you. Okay, kid, don't kill him. Good. Thank you for following instructions this time. Okay, and stun is 48. Let's increase it slightly by shooting once with a pistol on somebody like Sword of SM. Cool, just should be able to kill. Good. And now let's capture him. Come on, let's bring it home another captive. Come on with us. This thing has been Sweet. That's a pretty good mission. Only six aliens. Let's go home. Okay, some nice promotions, including Manto being our very first Master Sergeant Engineer. Now, as we found out already, Tandem Warheads is a pretty good skill. I'm not gonna lie, Tandem Warheads is actually really good. I'm not even sure why this is here. I guess Engineer might be good with a Blast Launcher, so the, the abysmal aim won't affect it too much, but I don't even know why this is here. Tandem Warheads is a very interesting perk. But I think if you really want to go to have warheads, you really have to go mayhem over here. Um, mayhem and possibly heat warheads, because then you're really focusing on damage. But I'm not going to go for this, I'm not going to go for this, I'm going to for, go for Bombard. Bombard is absolutely amazing. Especially, uh, basically lets engineers sit way further back and still try grenades on target. It's, it's pretty good. Okay, what else? Durand, congratulations, you get your own combat drugs now. And I think that's it. Some nice little captives. Um, damaged flight computers. Let's go sell that stuff off. And we can buy a few more Titan armor. And you might be asking, where am I going with the Titan armor? I think while I'm building Titan armor, I should also definitely build some of this. Because Titan armor is very, very heavy. And we are getting uh, attack rigging very soon. So, worker servos. Let's get at least one of them. Let's get another two Titan armor. Cool. 
And the thing about Titan Armor is that they're not actually that good of armor. The health is nice, but what really is good about it is that later on you can use that armor to build Archangel. Anyway, let's keep getting ahead. Another scout. Will these smoke will these UFOs never ever stop? You're just getting them non like one after another. Okay, lawn dart. Go take it out. You'll be on a roll so far, so let's see if we can keep it going. I almost feel sorry for these aliens. They're not having a good time at all. Ooh. Ooh. This one was aggressive. But as aggressive as he is, Lawndard, you're only out for how long? Okay, cool. How long are you out for? Eight days. See? Advanced repair is awesome. All that damage, eight days. Like it's almost like nothing happened. I'm not worried though. Damn. Okay, this, Captain uh, Nunez is coming back in 12 hours, so it should be fine. Asia's being really, really hammered. Okay, well, I guess we have another small crash UFO. What? We got plenty of troops, so let me set up a squad for this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's the squad we're taking. Um, things to note, pretty standard squad, no assault again. Instead, we're taking... Whoops, sorry, come back, come back, come back. No, no, don't go away. I still need you here. Where are you? Cool X-Banes. There we go. So we're taking Cool X-Banes for another trial round. Last time was pretty fun, but that was a very special mission. So this time it's a slightly more standard mission. I would like to be able to bring these mechs on some actual real missions, but hey, this is these small crash you afford are good opportunities to get some of these lower ranking troops up. So I'm just trying to take this opportunity, taking Edon with into the breach. So I can train up Slawfest, who I am exhausting, just so I can get her to take Sergeant. Also, Cool X Banes, Kai Electric, Beaker Bite. All these low ranking troops who will come in handy someday. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically another training mission, and that's pretty much the plan, it's all I can really say, so let's get down there and see what we have. It's quite interesting as well, December, it's almost like aliens are taking the New Year's off. Strike one. Prepare for landing. But I suspect what's actually going to happen is that the first half of this month is really quiet. Next half of the month is going to be absolutely chaotic. But anyway, let's worry about it later. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. Operation Cryptic Hawk. On the barn map, not exactly a bad map. It's, it's, it can, we can run into some trouble here, but for most part, it's not a bad map. But anyway, that's for next time, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave thoughts or comments down below. I'll see you next time for another Small Crash UFO. Until then, see ya!